Dragsters roar out of the starting line in a cloud of smoke, and then it's a blur. Traveling at speeds of up to 515 kilometers an hour, these hot rods rip through a 400-meter racetrack in less than four seconds. It's why they need parachutes to slow down and come in for a safe landing. Blink a couple of times and the race is over. Packing an incredible 8,000 horsepower, a dragster is at least 50 times more powerful than a subcompact car. With fat rear tires for traction and a tapered aerodynamic body, the dragster is engineered for one thing only, speed. Production begins with the heart of the vehicle, the powerful eight-cylinder engine. To reduce drag, the engine block is made of lightweight aluminum. A technician carefully installs the camshaft, then fastens the timing cover to the front of the engine. The timing cover prevents oil leaks. He installs the crankshaft and hub. And once the eight rods and pistons have been loaded and connected, he tests their movement and function. Satisfied with their performance, he encases them in an oil pan. With the installation of the drive gears and other components, the engine block is now complete. They move on to the supercharger, a forceful blower that boosts engine power tremendously. This worker seals the seams with urethane and caps the ends. He slides strips of Teflon between the rotors for extra sealing. All this sealing will ensure that the compressed air generated is directed down through the bottom of the supercharger and into the engine. With the supercharger now installed in its magnesium casing, he connects a cage-like starter to its drive pulley. It's now time for a test run. Blue streamers have been attached to the bottom of the supercharger. Their fluttering is a visual indication of the force of the air generated. The next employee attaches fuel pipes to the dragster's metal skeleton. They install the engine and the high-tech clutch. This racing clutch is equipped with five discs to transfer power from the engine directly to the wheels. Between every run, the dragster engine will be completely rebuilt. The rebuild should take just 22 minutes, so the team at the factory is on the clock to prove it can be done. The technician torques the cylinders to the engine block. He installs the fuel distribution system and connects the hoses to the cylinder heads. Dragsters run on nitromethane, known as top fuel in the sport. It delivers more power per stroke. Still on the clock, the crew transfers the supercharger to the engine and connects it to the intake manifold. They use super strength Kevlar strapping to restrain the supercharger in the event of an explosion. They loop a belt over the gears that drive the supercharger. They adjust the engine valves and then check to confirm the valves move freely. They cover the valves with this titanium lid to prevent oil leaks and keep all the parts in place. A technician connects spark plugs to the engine through slots in the cover, two per cylinder. With each step carefully timed and executed, it has taken 22 minutes for the crew to get this dragster engine in rip-roaring shape. In that 22-minute window, they also bolt the back wheels to the axle. They then slide the steering wheel into place in the cockpit and give it a try to confirm that it steers the tires at the front of the dragster. Also part of the 22-minute routine, a check of the fuel lever and the loading of the parachutes. They'll be tested at every pit stop before repacking. Finally, they fill up the tank with nitromethane fuel. This high-performing fuel is both volatile and corrosive, so there's a protective cover. This dragster is almost ready for the starting gate. All it needs is a sponsor to pay all the bills. One last test of the clutch, and this dragster is ready for the track. And it's off in a cloud of tire smoke.